All right, hey there guys, this is Final Terms, we are back, and today I'm going to bring you the Hand of Fate. This is in early access on Steam, so if you guys like it, it'll be in the link, but I love games like this. Card games, along with a mix of RPG. Oh, let's get into this. I can't wait. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. All right, so the Jack of Dust. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. That's bullshit. That's dumb. All right, well. That, that's so dumb. I don't... I don't Really? Taking my gold? Alright, so in the ruins of an ancient ten temple among the eternally shifting sands, sand dunes lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over spice caverns, or caravans, sorry, I am horrible at reading, who dare to take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as a king over the barren lands. All right, so this game I have not played before. I've seen some videos on it, and it looks amazing. It mixes in a card aspect with an RPG. So let's get started. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. All right, so I'm using a controller for this. On bottom left-hand corner, I've got health, food, and gold. Each time I move, Every it uses food. Every step you food. take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Like you said, so consumes food, and I heal whenever I move. All right, so Twisted Canyon. All right, you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight and lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, easy for climbing. So yeah, let's take the weapon. And we got success, success, and failure, so hopefully we don't get that one failure. Choose from these options. I'm gonna say it's this one. And we get that one failure. Oh no. Climb down to get the weapon. You begin to make your way to the bottom of the cliff face, but soon slip and fall into onto the rocks below. The dealer draws you one health pain card. Oh no. Oh no. We lose five health. Okay, that's not as bad. But we collect a weapon. Sweet. And we got a mace and finishers. Weapons with this trait allow you, the hero, to perform f a finishing move upon downed foes. Aim towards the downed foe and press left trigger and X button simultaneously to perform a finisher. All right. And I would like to equip that. Would you like to equip the mace? Yes. A thank moment you. to savor. That will make you much more effective. A moment to savor. Each what? step you take without food oh, God. do you damage until you eventually starve and die. We got ambushed. Do what you can. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Two of dust. All right. So here is the RPG aspect that I was talking about. So let's try this out. So your hero gets made and put into action. All right, so let's mess around here. All right, so bash. Oh. Ooh, I have like a rage bar, sort of. Oh, I have a kick. Yeah. All right, so there's the kick. All right, so I'm, oh, I just kicked him in the head. Oh. All right, so the kicking I'm guessing is for like if there's blocking to stop them from blocking. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. All right, now hopefully we don't get that one failure. And I'm guessing you can actually track the cards. So I'm guessing this one. Yeah. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area 
and you get to draw three game cards. I'm sure you'll make good use of Sweet. that. Sweet. A sword. Uh, let's see here. It's faster than a sword or an axe, but might have more reach, so let's go like benefit. that. Three food, so I can move further. Three more food, so I can keep moving. All right. Next card. No, I don't want more. the stairs. We gotta Seeking search the whole heart thing. of it all. We gotta search the whole thing. The maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you seek? Uh, I'm pretty sure we got enough life. We got enough that. So let's ask for gold. Mayor seems surprised. It is unlike an adventure to beg for coin, but very well, if that is what you wish for. I get to draw three game cards. Ten gold? Five gold? And five gold. Hopefully this is what makes us rich. Now let's Head go down downwards, the stairs. If you dare. I dare. You are on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. A winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws one monster card, three of dust. Fo face, faces and weapons appear from the trees around. Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly bandit. Or a band of daring to threaten you. You yell a battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. This is a lot of fun. I actually really like this. This is definitely the type of stuff that I like to play. RPGs. Alright, this time we got our soul sword instead of the mace. Alright. Oh! That was a nice combo. So on the bottom left hand corner you can see the how many combos I can get too. Which is nice. Oh. The animations in this on this are really smooth. You search the bodies for loot. The dealer draws you four game cards. Oh nice. More it's more late to navigation, but still. Alright, explorer's helmet. Reveals stairs and re reveals stairs encounter on entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. And I get three food. A little food. extra health. Ooh. But it is only a momentary respite. But I'm at full health, so that doesn't do anything for us. One food. All right. Devil's Carnival? I've all right. This one's different. That guy looks fat and strong at the same time. All right. One day, just as dusk approaches, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander, wander between tents and stalls that once were brightly colored but now are faded and tainted with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the street, streets, alleys, past wonders and amazements, almost in a bla ba daze? I'm so bad at reading this. <laughs> there is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest, forgetting the path that brought you to this place continue all right so we got two successes and two failures i'm gonna say it's this one. Oh god i got a failure a black cat darts out it weaves between your legs distracted you take the a wrong turn and wander down a darkened alley the mysterious mysteries of the carnival await you oh great huge success okay so huge success and huge failure. Huge success is right here. Select it's gotta be right desire. here. God damn it. A flurry of movement surrounds you as the 
trio of acrobats tumble into a circle around you. After a brief display of the leaps and spins, they depart, leaving your pack a bit lighter. The dealer draws you one pain card. One food. Okay, you can take one food from me. I'm fine with that. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at an edge of the forest. The sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long since abandoned. Oh, well, I found the shop. Hopefully I can buy something nice. Greetings, wise traveler. We offer you, or we have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Alright, so let's see here. Healing cap. I already have a helmet. An axe. Don't need an axe. I don't need any of those. Heal wounds, buy food. I guess we're just gonna buy more food. Maybe that's the only thing I can do that's actually worth it. Alright, we continue our journey. And now we you go have to the my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. All right. That narrator's really nice, too. The Jack of Dust. Some and enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way. All right, so A is the da or dodge. Oh, ow, he still hit me. That's the dumb. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Keep up the combo. Let's get massive combos. Come on. Yeah, massive combos. Okay, massive combos don't work. Oh, ow, he just sliced my belly open. Oh, oh, okay, so the red thing means dodge. All right. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. All right, red means dodge, and that's a not nice little animation. Grabbing that card. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. All right, and what is this? As a reward for beating the bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. So Jack of Bones, Dead King's Hall. Is that Hall? Yeah, Dead King's Hall. River, local peasant. Devil's Choice. And Mr. Lano? All right, and the next one has a reward for beating Bandit Jack. You receive these new cards. Ooh, medium armor, chains of rage, mercenary contract, mercenary contract, uh, medium armor, fortitude's breath, and life's limb. And then for defeating my band or Bandit Jack, I'll give you these new challenges. So, bandit attack, goblins, and maze of traps. Shall All right. Deal again. So, there's the first round. Let's go ah, on to good. another one, seeing as that now one was pretty short. The basics. We can begin in earnest. Ooh, Your there's an endless. Oh god, they came out with more stuff. Our decks are reset. Story mode. Oh yes. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. All right. And so, Jack of Bones is who we face. So the Jack of Bones, this tenacious undead, is unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has the power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm-blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are 
effectively endless. Time for you to nice. face my undead army. Deck builder. Jack of skulls. So I've got all the equipments I can have, but I can add one more? Yeah, one more to this. So let's uh, get the local peasant and take out the winding trail, take out ambush. Yeah, no, don't want ambush ever, no. Um, I still want to do that. So let's get some of these new ones so I can still add these. Uh, yeah, let's take out the, the Twisted Canyon and get the Dead Man's Hall. There we go. All right, we are all set. Once more, you meet the Jack of Skulls. You're still learning. So let me make things easier for you. So we got maces. We got two of skulls. And the traveling mage. All right, let's see how this works. All right, and he deals out the cards. You play for life and death. Prepare yourself. The, Given oh. how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. All right, so we got the maiden. I'm going to ask for gold because we don't have any, and it's early on. So five gold, 15 gold, ooh. I'm sure you are grateful for five that. Five gold. I am very grateful for the 15 gold. New goblins. goblins. I do love goblins. Truly, I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent. One night you awaken to find your belongings being riffled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away. They've stolen some of your food and gold. Oh, no. I just got gold. Oh my god, they... Oh, they didn't steal that much gold. Okay, it's not that bad. They stole six gold. And three food. I'll, I'm gonna get that food back, though. Three food's expensive. That's my food! What do you think you're doing with my food, huh? Oh, I don't think so. Just stay down. All right, there's one down. Where are you? Oh, he's not down yet. All right. Oh my God, they're still not down. Die. Oh, I got 33 gold now? Oh, yeah, just keep giving me gold. You know what? Just, just don't die. Give me more gold. Yeah, more gold. Come on. All right. 45 gold. They gave me 20 gold. And I had 9 food. Now I've got 12. Oh, yes. Yes, please. The token is yours. Well done. All right. So you get tokens for certain cards. Sounds good. The river. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. All right. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. All right. So I'm going to be going for any token I can get. Your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear, but fast. All right, so we got huge success, success, and failure. Let's try to get that huge success. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to say this one. Oh, okay. We, it's still a success. Your light armor makes crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side cold and wet, but unharmed. No! No, I wanted a token. How dare you. May actually, I deeper can... towards our foe. Do we go? I got ten food. You know what? We'll do it next time. We'll leave Your it in the deck. journey is well begun. We'll leave it in the deck, and we'll do it next time because we've only got I ten food. I like this demon. He Devil's lies choice. as often as he tells the truth. There's a token in it for you. He if often you win. tells the truth, so he's lying to me. 
A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Uh, two of dust. All right. So we get to fight more monsters. Thank you. This shouldn't be too hard. It's just two of dust. All right, now I got the kicking action. Come on now. All right, so you can't like dash and attack, or at least go like this and attack. It's not like another enemy. Okay. I was thinking like a sort of jump attack. Oh, I just kicked him up in the gut. And it killed him. Oh God. I don't know my own strength. Excellent, the devil cries. You've passed my cunning test. Have some treasure, perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. The dealer draws you four gain cards, nice. And this card's token is yours. Three food. One equipment. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. It's better than what I'm using, so yes, please, thank you. Uh, one food and three food. So I've got a lot of Take food. Take the token. It is yours. All right. So there's another token. The traveling tinker. I got 45 gold. Hell yes. I want to go in there. Greeting, wise traveler. We have much to offer you. And this is in early access. Yeah, early access. Which is really nice. It's really smooth. Let's buy items, hell yeah. I don't have a helmet yet. I'm not taking damage. Let's go with the explorer. An item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. And then more food? Yeah, let's go with 20 food. Alright, sounds good. We got 7 gold now. And 20 food. Quite a lot of food. All right, Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness my name is mr lionel if you give me what i need boy i will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation he cackles uncontrollably for a few moments then s sits patiently waiting for your answer give him the bread of your plate Ask him what he needs. Need? I need you to help. Or need to help you. He then taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go. Or there you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin then reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Ooh. Reflect. Shields with this trait allow you the hero to reflect projectiles back at the t attacker. This must be performed with exact timing as projectiles draw near. Press Y button to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above your hero's head. Okay. An encounter. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicator above foe's and press Y to counter. Okay, so it's your shield way. may now be used to counter your opponent's attacks. Sweet. A maze of traps. Ooh. Win this and claim my token. Ah, uh, hell, hell yeah! Let's do it. Yes, enter, enter the cave. Alright, here we go, some traps. Let's see if my 
skills and expertise are good to go through this trap. And there's our shield now. All right, let's do this. Now we begin to raise the stakes. And there's a flame the trap. The arena itself. Oh God! Against you. This Beware one, I think, is pressure. Oh. Yep, it's definitely pressure. And that thing hits out of the wall. Don't want that. that oh yeah, arrows. Okay. So it doesn't seem that hard so far. Pretty nice and easy. Oh, almost ran into that. Oh god, more arrows. Okay, so arrows come from the left, so let's roll. Nope, that, that didn't work. Alright, there we go. Ooh, that was close. Alright, so we took five damage. That's pretty good. Let's see what's in this chest. Alright. Having survived the traps, you loot the chest. The dealer draws you five gain cards. Oh, five, damn. Ten gold. That's just what I want, more gold. Three food. Three food. One a strong quit. left arm is as Another shield. As a strong oh, I've right already arm. got a shield. I don't need You can now reflect your opponent's and range 25 of gold. Hell using yeah. your shield. Make good use and of there's the token. wish to survive. All right. So let's move on to the next one. The stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? No. I got 20 gold. Another floor awaits. Oh, after you explore every one, good. you get more gold. Damn. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls, and we can progress. Dead King's Hall. All right, let's do a it. Challenge for you. This one's and got a token, token. If you succeed, you see an ancient, ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will be guarded. All right, two monster cards. Attempt to take them by surprise. Huge sexy, huge success. All right, I think it's this one. Yeah, I tracked that one. Attempt to take them by your surprise. Suddenly you leap into the fray, taking one down before they can even react. Uh, which one do you want to discard? I don't want to fight skeletons. I really don't. I'd rather fight the dust because they're pretty easy. The bandits are pretty easy. But I really like this. This is a lot like Dungeons and Dragons, and it reminds me of that. Like my dad got me into the whole you Dungeons can now and counter Dragons. Your opponent's attacks. When Hit the uh, counter button when you see the one where indicator. you would draw your character and your weapon and stuff. Get down there. Ooh. And now my character stuns. Oh, that counter. Look at that, they are super easy. Don't, no damage, nothing like that. Oh yeah, so easy. All right, you loot the room. The dealer draws you four gain cards. These little yeah. games will not. If we've learned anything, it's that there's no better weapon for dealing with the undead than the humble mace. No, plus 10 max health. There's max health in this? Damn. Inspect and put back. Well, there, I already knew the Jack of Bones was there. Ooh, bandit attacks next. Dead Man's Gorge. And then five max health is the next. Well done. Oh, I got five max health. Okay. So I'm at 115. That's nice. Bandit attack. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. A group of bandits suddenly attack. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Alright. I'm fine with that. I'll just keep putting you down. Me and my muscly arms. I look like a Roman with that helmet. Oh god! Counter! Yeah! Got the counter! Got the next counter! Yeah! So good. So countering's pretty easy. It makes this really smooth. I did 
not realize you were such a this fierce is adversary. Sparta! You bear that in mind. Yeah, I just did that. Among the bodies, you find scrap parchment with a rough description of you and an offer for a reward from the king of dust. I draw one game card. Ten health. I don't need health. Thank you. I need max health. Ooh, the traveling mage. Oh, I got 62 gold. Let's see what we can get. I got so much gold. Let's see what we can get. Alright, come on. Get to that mage. All right, buy items. All right, so the chemical silver, silver. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. Or or Hermes antlers. Lizardmen take double damage from players' attacks. So we get to fight lizardmen. Plunderer's cap. When you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one. Damn, that's good. That's really good. That's a lot better than my helmet I've got now. Fleet cuffs. Increase the wearer's movement speed. So we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat. But we can sell. time to ready them. So we can sell one of our shields. Back in their faces. Pretty sure, right? Please. Yes. Okay. I don't want you to have to jump in the, the mace. deep end too quickly. The more maces I add, the more likely you are and to succeed. And let's get this helm. My, oh, well. Not enough gold. Okay. Just more food. That sounds good. Alright. Alright, next one. Dead I'm Man's sure Gorge. it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. While crossing an ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear movement from under the rope bridge. It's an ambush. Draw one monster card. You meet the, the Jack, Jack of again. Dust. Did you think him done before? Uh, oh, no. I didn't know we Shuffle could draw the Jack of the Dust after we defeated him last time. Okay. So anytime we defeat a boss, we get to draw all his cards again. Yay. At least we get to try out the new uh, ability, which is right bumper. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah, right bumper. Oh, it charges up. Look at it. It's charging up right now. That's good to know. Oh god, I can't counter that. Can't counter that. Run away. That hurt. much one damage at 115 health if I had a hundred it'd be like one damage but damn I took like uh, 16 damage yeah 16 damage all right one I'm not minute. always this generous I don't really though want the mace oh god the game I just, has just it. begun yeah whatever I don't care it's fine we'll go kill him with the mace attack speed on on top of attack speed hell yeah let's do it we play for a token now. I don't care. Let's kill him. We got tokens in the mix. Let's kill this jack of bones. We gotta kill him fast because he'll reanimate the other skeletons. Oh, they've got shields. So this is probably where the blocking feature comes in. So... I can't hit them normally, right? I've gotta start with the other one. Let's see. Shots from rifles cannot be yep. deflected. You would do better oh God. to avoid them. There's guns? You agile enough. Yeah. Come on. Really, guns? Oh God, oh God. Oh God, the gunner. Dodge. You know what? Gunners, die. Oh, dude, this is epic combat. Damn. I love this combat. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, I killed everybody. That's some. I, I love that combat. That's so nice. I wish like you could change your character, like edit your character. That'd be nice too. All right, and we got the Jack of Bones now. Your prize. All right, so we get to open up these tokens now. For encountering the goblins, you receive time heals. And then we'll be looking at those in the next episode. All right, for surviving the devil's choice, you receive devil's wager. For exploring the maze of traps, you receive scavenger's cap. For exploring Dead King's Hall, you receive treasure chest. Ooh, that'd be nice. As a reward for defeating Skeleton Jack, you receive these new cards. The Crucible, the Queen of Dust, Helpful Priest, and Desert Storm. And as a reward for defeating Skeleton Jack, you receive these new cards. The Helm of Reflection, Consuming Shame, Angel's Wings, and Blood Crescent. All right, and that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope you stay tuned to this series because I'm going to be playing this a lot. Have a good one, guys. Stay away! No, stay away. Bad. No, stay away. Stay in there. No. Fine. You're a pooper. All right. All is right. He was a pooper. He was a pooper. Try to destroy the door. Try to destroy the door. Shoot! No! Get the hell away!